research trend that I think we're going to see continuing over time, especially since we're seeing so much more video on the web. We are also seeing the arrival, finally, of this so-called convergence between the internet and television and so on. So I think video search is right on the cusp of becoming something really, really important. I think it's still in very early days, but I think we're really going to see it explode in terms of use, first of all. But more importantly, from our standpoint as search marketers, we need to understand how to optimize our content so that it will actually appear uh, and rank well in these new forms of video search. So that's the focus of this panel today. We're going to lead off with Tom Wild. Tom is the CEO of everything. starting to see some changes now um, and I think they've been slow in coming but are really starting to come more and more. Um, I think that all of the universal and blended search stuff is really starting to ramp up and so I think that's only going to um, continue. So I think really understanding that the web is no longer just about the text on the page but it's much more of an experience now and it might, might include images and video and you know, blogs and, and other types of engagement, social media, you know, really pulling that all into um, If anybody likes snowboarders or goes out snowboarding on the web, the internet, on the surface, you're likely not. You're likely not. I kind of have the same problem with the original and the internet. Come with this idea about what is Web 2.0. I think outside that, uh, I think O'Reilly was claiming that they had a trademark on the original or something like that. But we don't really care about that. It's an American company, so we're not an American. These are some of the websites that, that I, I label Web 2.0 that I worked with over the past uh, couple of years. Um, so, so my real opinion, what, what I find important about Web 2.0 is really a combination of two things. It, it's a new type of application, not so much new technologies, but new ways of using the same technology. And, and for one of the most popular ones, are Ajax, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And this is really where you have a lot of problems to deal with, and you do need to deal with this. The other part of it is, is what we talked a lot about today, and I'm going to give one little twist to it as well, is, is the interaction with users, the user generated content. And not just the user generated content, but the interaction with your community. And this is where I think all the fun begins. This is where you can be really creative. You can make it be too creative sometimes, but you can definitely make some good things happen. Now, the paradox I think about Web 2.0 is 
is that on, on, on one side it's embracing what I, I think is a true web, the interaction and, and highlighting and, and all that. But on the other hand, by using these new types of applications, it's also isolating itself um, from by not applying with, with the existing standards and, and not being able to interact. Uh, so that, that's kind of the SMX is enjoying the reward of probably about six months or so of planning and organizing all the speakers, the content, and everything else. And yes, I feel it was a success. Um, the key to that isn't so much what I think, but the feedback that I get from people who have attended. Okay. Uh, may I thank you for this uh, good event?